Hello and welcome. You're watching Champions of Akash, and it's time for us to make you meet Dhruv. Let us all welcome Dhruv from Bangalore. So Dhruv, first of all, many many congratulations for doing so well at NEET. How does it feel? Thank you so much, ma'am. I still can't believe that this has happened. I mean, we've been working for it for two years, but it doesn't seem real yet. I haven't had time for it to sink in completely. And you know, there's a lot about you that it took B time to sink in because you're not just an exceptional performer at NEET. You also qualified for OCSE in biology in 11th and 12th. Um, you are an NTSE and KVPY scholar. Not just that. Dhruv also topped class 12 boards, guys. Uh, just so much more. I think it's taking for me time to sing this in. So much you've achieved, uh, and I'm sure this has brought in so many questions in everyone's mind. What does Dhruv do in a day, and how does he manage his time, and all of that? But first, let me begin by asking, why did you choose medicine? What made you do that? Um, so I've had two major influences in my life, who are doctors. My nana. He's uh, a cardio physician, and my masi, she's a neuro physician. And from a very young age, I I used to have a lot of problems when I was young, and he would always be there from the smallest of things to the whatever the issues were. He was always able to help me, and like that's always inspired me to help others. I've always wanted to go into a service-oriented career, and biology is my field. From as long as I can remember, it's been ingrained in me that I wanted to do something in biology. And as the years went on. That just evolved into a passion for medicine because that's who I want to be. That's in my head. That's who I'm meant to be. Hmm. And tell me, at what point did you decide to seek guidance from Akash to pursue this journey of pursuing medicine? Uh, so I lived in US for a couple of years, and when we came back, we had no idea about the schooling scene in India. So in tenth grade, we were supposed to have boards, and there's a lot of hype about tenth boards. Uh, everyone says that it's a, an important year, and you need to be careful and all. So one of my mom's friends uh, told us that you should uh, enroll your child in a coaching institute. It'll help. And my parents were very against it initially because they said you don't need any extra help. It's just going to add stress. But then we went to visit Akash Institute once on the advice of the mom's friend. And uh, we saw the books there, and it was actually the books that drew me in because the study packages were so well structured, and like the diagrams were uh, given, and everything was amazing. And I'd seen the NCERT textbooks, and I didn't like those that much at the time. So it was mainly the books, and then I sat in a class, and I was enamored. I had to get come here. I couldn't say no. Akash has honestly been amazing. It, there was never any extra stress. That's what most parents worry about. If you're worrying about putting your child into right. an institute, it's about right. the stress that you'll face. But there was never any stress. It was always pressure that I could handle. And the teaching, I mean, I had wonderful teachers. All three years, all my teachers were absolutely amazing. They helped the concept sink in perfectly. And I never had any need to go home and do much extra because they teach so well. And we had a lot of practice in school itself. We used the books. We had uh, study packages. Then there were abundant tests. There were catalyst questions, and right. everything was wonderful. Basically, did you have any weaknesses that Akash helped you identify and work on? Uh, you know, something that you thought that maybe you needed just the right strategy to crack it, and then oh, Akash definitely. stepped up. <laughs> definitely. So what would happen is, in every mock test we wrote, I would always make at least one or two reading errors. and i'd either not read the question fully or i'd go too fast or i'd be too excited right. like too scared right. so akash really helped me that was the most important thing because i was getting in 680s in the beginning and all most of my errors were like they were not concept errors they were always reading errors bubbling errors didn't think the question through and akash has helped me like calm down and focus on the test really well it al it's allowed me to understand everything Uh, read like slow down when you're doing the test so that you take in everything. You're not missing a word. Right now, Dhruv rightly mentioned that without family, champions couldn't be sitting on the champion seat. So it's time for us to bring in Dhruv's mom, Bisni Hardwani. <laughs> Welcome, ma'am, and huge congratulations on his neat results. Tell me something, ma'am. Um, this journey that Dhruv has been on and. Um, It's commendable how he's been able to pursue so many other things along with his studies, but if I was to talk about his coaching aspect with Akash and you as a parent, um, and I'm sure there are a lot of parents of neat aspirants who are watching this here, um, how has your journey with Akash been for his preparation? So I would say it was flawless. 
because other than see teachers being teachers are uh, is in their job description but i would say for his programs his teachers were his mentors they know exactly where he needed help how he was supposed to be calm down and i would say that my son's biggest strength is his cool and calm nature the moment he stresses out he would start making mistakes so they also knew how to calm him down where to control him where to stop you know uh, being too stressful making the situation too stressful so overall it has been a great journey and i would say that he would not have been able to do this without their help so absolutely wonderful jo parents aapko dekh rahe hain wo aapse ye bhi janna chahenge ki apne bacche ko hamesha motivated kaise rakhe especially kabhi exams mein number kam aa jate hain even if agar bachcha intelligent hai acha kar raha hai kabhi kabhi koi careless mistake ho gayi ya fir question jaldi se pad liya aapko chhoot gaya so jab wo us swing mein ja rahe hain when they are getting demotivated as a parent aap kaise dhruv ko motivate karte the हम बात बहुत करते हैं आई थिंक मतलब ये जब आता है स्कूल से ये भी बहुत बताता है ही इज़ एन एक्सट्रोवर्ट वो बताता है कि मुझे ये प्रॉब्लम हुई एंड हमारे एक्सपीरियंसेस भी हैं हम भी प्रीमियर इंस्टीट्यूट से पढ़ के आए हैं वी आल्सो हैव अवर एक्सपीरियंसेस तो हम लोग काफ़ी शेयर करते हैं बातें कि आज का स्कोर डजेंट मैटर और हम ये भी बोलते थे कि नीट इज़ अ थ्री आर एग्ज़ाम उस पर्टिकुलर दिन अगर किसी रीज़न से तुम्हें नहीं ठीक लग रहा है किसी भी रीज़न से डोंट गिव अप जस्ट बी मोटिवेटेड अपना जो बेस्ट है वो करने की कोशिश करते रहो और यही हमारा मोटो है मेरे हस्बैंड तो सिर्फ यही बोलते हैं बस पास हो क्या हो वो कभी नहीं पूछते कितना स्कोर आया कैसा एग्ज़ाम हुआ क्या रैंक आया और ही इज़ ऑलवेज लाइक कि बस डू योर बेस्ट पास होके आ जाओ दैट इज़ मोर देन यू फॉर अस थैंक यू सो मच मैम रियली वैल्यू यू बींग So that was Dhruv's story, but there are a lot more success stories of champions of Akash on the platform. Don't forget to watch them. Thank you for joining us.